Thanks for coming, Mr. Bam Bam. Ah, Bonbon! As you know, the underwear parade can only begin with an appearance by the mayor of Blunderburg. Me, wearing these. <gasps> the royal underwear. So, what's the problem, Mayor? See for yourself. <gasps> the royal underwear won't stay on. <gasps> I pull them up and they fall right down. <gasps> If I can't wear them, the underwear parade will have to be cancelled. Cancelled? <sighs> Hold on. I think I see the problem. The waistband on the royal underwear has lost its... It's a... Rainbow, what's that word again? Elasticity. Elasticity. See when things stretch and then snap back into place? It's called elasticity. Or like a rubber band. Or a hair tie. Or... This slingshot here. Tiny, just stretch and snap. Yay, elasticity! To make the royal underwear stay on, we'll need to engineer a new waistband with lots of elasticity. Clark, what have we got? Well, we could try a rubber cord. Too tight. Oh, uh, or what about some peanut butter taffy? Tasty, but droopy. Oh, what about an elastic band? Stretchy and snappy. Hmm, stylish too. I think we found our new waistband material. Fix it, Force. Let's get to work. Easy, Tweezies. Removing the old waistband. Elastic band. No, I can't look! Inserting the new waistband. Chico, we're losing them! Oh, no, we're not! Super Stitcher! <gasps> you did it! The underwear is stabilizing! <sighs> underwear improvement complete! Try them out, Mayor. Thank you, Chico. These will definitely stay on. <laughs> Behold, the Frosty Fridge 4000. I designed it just for you. Tiny, let's turn it on. Now, I made it super simple. Press this button once for ice. Uh. Press twice for crushed ice. Uh. And press three times for a tasty shaved ice treat. Prune flavored. <gasps> My favorite. <laughs> oh, Chico, everything is exactly the way I like it. And I've programmed it to tell super funny jokes. Why did the cookie go to the doctor? Oh, I don't know. Why? It was feeling crummy. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> We also noticed you like magnets. <gasps> I do! Now, magnets don't stick to just any kind of metal. Tiny. That's why we made your fridge out of iron. A type of metal magnets always stick to. Pow, pow, meow! Yay, magnets! Oh, he is just the most perfect thing ever. I love my Widow Fiji Boo Boo. Thank you, Chico. All in a day's work for... The Fix It Force! Enjoy the new fridge. Why did the teddy bear say no to dessert? I don't know. Why? Because he was stuffed. Ha, ha, ha! <laughs> oh, my. All that laughing has made me hungry for another shaved ice. <laughs> hmm, now what? Was it again? Oh, press one, two, three times for shaved ice. <laughs> and I'll take an extra large helping. Super ice cube mode activated. Fidgy Boo Boo! Oh, are you okay? So, how do we get
get this generator working? With energy, of course. When you move the crank, it takes the energy of that movement and turns it into the electrical energy that we need to power the lights. The crank can make electrical energy? That's so cool! Let the cranking begin! Let's see if it's working! Abraca peanuts! Ta da! <laughs> Chico, it's working! Hey, the lights are coming back on! Yeah. Crank, watch, water! Well, that didn't work. We gotta try something else. You're doing great. False alarm, everyone. The lights are still out. But don't worry, I've got more magic tricks. Ta da! All right, we created electricity, but not enough to power all the lights. Maybe it's because I'm only using my arms. What if we engineered something that could use the energy from my whole body? Wait, even better idea. Two whole bodies. We run fast enough, it just might be enough to light up the tower. Tiny, can you be our light checker? Keep a good pace. Come on, keep up a good pace. Ta-da! Oh, oh no, come back, Feather. How are we looking? It's working! Keep running! We need to produce more energy! That's good! <laughs> that's good! Uh, that's probably not good. Oh. What happened? <gasps> the generator broke! Okay! More magic tricks! Oh. We must have overloaded the generator with too much energy, and now it's broken. We need to make a better generator. And we need a better source of energy. All that running makes me tired. What could we use to... Oh, there you are. Oh, oh, uh, you saw nothing. Huh. Could that work? Uh, fake hair? I don't think so. <laughs> no, wind. Yeah, wind. We can engineer something to turn wind power into electrical energy. And I know just the thing. A windmill, like my dance. Actually, it's called a wind turbine because it generates electrical energy. And wow, that thing is really moving. Whoa, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. That's today. It's time for the Flapjack Fliptacular. Two fearless daredevils will rocket skate down a track to a sizzling griddle to see who is the ultimate pancake flipper. It's Storm Cloud Lightning versus Rainbow Thunder. That's our Rainbow Thunder. One of them will win the Golden Pancake Trophy. Whoa! Tuning to see Storm Cloud Lightning and Rainbow Thunder go spatula to spatula! <laughs> go, Rainbow Thunder, go! Wait, where is Rainbow Thunder? Hmm. <gasps> Chico, the banana phone! Chico Bonbon, bon, you got a problem? We can solve them. Chico, I need your help. Rainbow? Where are you? Um... <laughs> oh, didn't see you there. Chico, Storm Cloud Lightning's one of the best flippers around. To beat him, I'll need to do something amazing. A triple pancake flip. A triple flip? But that's never, ever been done. That's why I need your help. We've got to engineer a brand new spatula that can flip the flap out of a pancake. Rainbow? Not problems, no problem. Fix it, Force, to the Spatulab! Chico Bon Bon! Rainbow Thunder! Yarn! Tiny! Four, 
Wait a second. Isn't the spatula lab just upstairs? All right. To the spatula lab! To do the triple flip, I'm gonna need a spatula that's made of something flexible. That's when something bends, but doesn't break. Flexible. Clark, any ideas? How about a bendy metal spatula? Oh, not bendy enough. Cardboard. Bendy. What else we got? Stone? Cheese? Sand? <laughs> None of the spatulas have the right amount of flexibility. Maybe you need a banana break. Good idea. Agricultural engineering. It's a special kind of engineering to solve problems involving plants and trees and things that grow, like these fast growing seeds we engineered. Exactly. In this case, we need to use agricultural engineering to stop the beetles. Which means we need to find a tree they don't like to eat. Yeah, like a tree that doesn't taste good. None of these trees look like they taste very good to me. <laughs> because you're not a blunder beetle, buddy. We need to identify and grow trees that taste bad to the blunder beetles. If Blunderberg is filled with yucky tasting trees, the beetles will leave and all the birds will have homes again. Fix it, Force. Time to start tree testing. Let's see how the blunder beetles like the taste of a simple blunder oak tree. Yay! Aww. Okay, how about a blunder bloom tree? Aww. Don't worry. We still got plenty more seeds to try. Let's get planting. Your beak on the street is now your eye in the sky, where I'm checking out the damage being done by those blunder beetles. And folks, it is not a pretty sight. The beetles are sweeping across the city, eating every tree in their path. It's only a matter of time before they eat Blunderberg's most famous tree, Bon Bon Labs. Can the legendary Fix-It Force save their own treehouse headquarters? I'm told they are working on a plan right now, but time is not on their side. Well, we planted a whole bunch of different tree seeds. Pow, pow, meow. But the beetles ate pretty much every tree. Wait a minute. The beetles aren't eating the whole trees. They're leaving leftovers. I wonder why. Well, they left behind the purple bark of the blunder bark tree. And the pointy leaves of the blunder thistle trees. Pointy leaves, purple bark. You must not like the way those parts taste. Clark, what tree has both of those things? Checking. Aha! The blunderberry tree. Let's give it a try. Like the taste of blunderberry trees. If we plant a wall of blunderberry trees, it'll stop the beetles before they get to Bon Bon Labs. And if we plant a lot of different trees that the beetles don't like, we can make sure all the trees stay beetle free and healthy in the future. Perfect. Let's get this egg to Hatchery Hospital fast. But first, the weather report. It's chilly out there, but our egg needs to stay nice and warm. Don't worry, Nell. We'll keep it in Clark's bubble. It's got climate controls to keep the egg at the perfect temperature. Ooh, yeah! Oh, 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 oops! Oh, 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 oh. Gotcha! Ugh, oh, I'm so clumsy. How can I keep the egg safe? Hmm. I know what you need, buddy. A super safe egg carrier. Oh, yeah! Perfect! The heat's turned on, the egg is warm, and now we're ready to ride. Next stop, Hatchery Hospital. Hold on to your feathers! <laughs> we'll be there in a jiffy jack. <gasps> Ostrich News here with your very local traffic report. There's a lot of it! How are we gonna get through? Aha! I see a way! 
Rainbow, turn left up here. That's the Beach Ball Boulevard. Right on Penguin Plaza. After a word from our sponsors, Puffy Stuff Marshmallows. For when you can't get enough of that sweet, sweet puff. Hey, that's it! Marshmallows, they're super soft and squishy. Whoa, marshmallows are my favorite! Oh, you're gonna love them too, Aggie! Guys, the good news is you're finally off the busy streets. What's the bad news? You're headed toward Stinky Sock Canyon! Where? Stinky Sock Canyon, the smelliest drop-off in all of Blunderberg. If that speeding band doesn't find a way to break, this story will stink in more ways than one. You know, because of the stinky socks. Oh, no! Hey, how'd you get in here? A newsman never reveals his secrets. I thought that was magicians. Focus, Clark! We gotta help! Right, right. Is there any sticky mud you can drive through? That might slow you down. Huh. No mud. Well, wait, we might have something even stickier. Clark, fire the glue cannon. Yes! I'm dropping in now. Attention, glue detected. Activating non stick spray. No! Our own anti stickiness systems are too anti sticky. We need to try something else. Ahoy, mateys! Seems to me like ye could use a good old-fashioned anchor. Yeah! Oh, anchor, do me proud and dig into the ground below to stop that van. Glitter blast activated. Me timbers. It's okay. We're just speeding towards Stinky Sock Canyon in a runaway van going about a million miles an hour. Just gotta... Activate banana break. Okay. We need to stop Tool Force One. Speed bumps didn't slow us down. Glue didn't slow us down. The anchor didn't slow us down. If only Mrs. Coleslaw hadn't fallen down that chute. Shoot! Parachute! Lacing bananas, that's it! We can use a parachute to stop Tool Force One! Of course! Parachutes create drag, but the heavier something is, the bigger the parachute needs to be, remember? And Tool Force One is huge! We definitely don't have a parachute that big, Chico! But we've got knitting needles and a whole lot of yarn! You mean... We're gonna knit our way out of this problem. Nice! Tiny, take the wheel. We've got a parachute to make. Mrs. Coleslaw, I never knew you were a dancer. Of course! Here I am doing the cha-cha on the blunder blimp. Oh, and that's me boogie-oogie-oogieing with Jean Smelly. Oh, here I am with my old dance crew, the East Side Llamas. Pow, pow, me Mrs. Coleslaw? You can really shake a tail feather. You must mean my lucky dancing feather. 
I never dance without it. Okay, Mrs. Coleslaw, before we design your dancing shoes, we'll need to see your dancing moves. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> First, I slide all the way across the floor. <laughs> oh, well, you get the idea. I think I see the problem. Whenever two things rub against each other, like shoes rubbing on the floor, it causes friction. Friction slows you down. The less friction your shoes have, the more they slip and slide. So to make your new shoes slippy, we'll need a low friction material. Clark, give me something slippy. Soap suds. Too bubbly. Floor wax. Too squeaky. A banana peel. Perfect. Banana peel dancing shoes. Extra slippy, coming right up. But Chico, I also need to run all the way up the wall. <laughs> ah, in that case, you need shoes with more friction. More friction means it's harder for them to slide. So they'll be grippy. And I've got just the material. A spare tire from Two Force One. The treads are high friction, which make them extra grippy. Perfect! Rubber tire dancing shoes, extra grippy. But then they won't be slippy. That's right, they'll be grippy. But I need shoes that are slippy and grippy. This dance is called the Slippy Grippy Shuffle. Slippy and grippy? But how can you? They're, they're both slippy grippy. Better take a banana break. Okay, if the shoes are too slippy, they won't be grippy. But if they're too grippy, they won't be slippy. And then Mrs. Coleslaw won't get to dance for Flippy. <gasps> flippy! He can go from grippy to slippy with one simple Flippy. Blazing bananas, that's it! <laughs> Look what that burp quake did to you. Don't worry, Mrs. Coleslaw. It just needs some grippy glue. Tiny, I'm going to need precision nozzle number 47. Just need some glue on the edge and... <laughs> How's the repair going, Chico? Going fine, buddy, but I need you to hold really steady. Steady. Apply the adhesive now. There. Good as new. Yay! Wow. Let me get that. Everybody. Up here! Huh? Oh, there's nothing I'd love more than a group hug. No, wait, no, 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 no! Thanks for fixing my plate, Chico. <laughs> Chico, I'm stuck. It's the glue. This adhesive has bonded you to us. But don't worry, we'll get you unstuck. <gasps> the banana phone. Chico Baba, monkey on an elephant. No, oh, fix it, Force. There's a big problem at the playground. You must hurry! We've got to help Mayor Murphy. Uh, you don't mind coming along, do you, Mrs. Coleslaw? Ha! Sticking around with the Fix-It Force? <laughs> it's a dream come true. <laughs> All right, then. Well, there's a little song we sing when we're bonding. Like sticky glue or gum on a shoe, I'm, I'm stuck, stuck on you! you. Oh, Fix-It Force. And Mrs. Coleslaw? Don't mind me, dear. I'm just a long Ride. <laughs> the bob quake has shaken the playground to shambles. The kids want to play, but look, the slide is in pieces. How will the children slide? They love sliding. Oh, won't somebody think of the children? Don't worry, Mayor. I can fix the slide with grippy glue. Oh, I've got an idea. Monkey with a tool belt. <gasps> the banana phone. Chico Bonbon, you got a problem, we can solve them. <laughs>